I've noticed people like it when like I like fail like on one of my videos when I was kayaking I almost drowned that got so many likes compared to like um <laughs> just drown yourself in every video yeah What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com and we're sitting here over by the Ping River at the co-working cafe and today I'm joined with Jess and um, I've brought Jess onto the channel because she's, um, we met in a pun space right? Well no, I messaged you we met in Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon? Yeah, I, I, I like messaged you and I was like oh hey do you want to club, hey do you want to meet up and then like you know, my, oh. you know in um Maya, and then like I popped into popped into. Oh Maya. yes, yes. So we, we <laughs> I don't even know how we met. Yeah, so she messaged me on uh, YouTube, and you've been to, in Chiang Mai for how long? Uh, five weeks now. Five weeks, and you've come here to do like the whole digital nomad thing, and yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're a travel blogger. Yeah, yeah. Blogger. I'm, yeah, yeah. Blogger, yeah. blogger, blogger. Yeah. Yeah, I make travel videos on YouTube. Okay, so I just thought it'd be interesting because I get messages a lot from people saying that they want to come to Chiang Mai, they want to do like YouTube and. And stuff like that so hopefully today we can answer some of those questions that those of you might have that want to do kind of a similar thing right well i'll try <laughs> yeah. i'm not an expert <laughs> okay so um how long have you been doing it for how long have you been doing like your channel and your vlog um i've been doing it since 2015 okay so like uh when i went to spain right like that was like a new traveling opportunity if you like and that was the first time living abroad so you know i dabbled into it then and yeah, then I moved back to England and filmed some stuff about my life there. And then coming to Thailand, I've started to take it seriously. So I'm uploading like three times a week. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd kind of say now is when my professional like, YouTube career begins because now yeah. I'm actually being consistent. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. And you, you also, you don't just do the travel vlogging, right? You also do video editing. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, with the travel vlogging, obviously video editing comes into play and yeah, like with YouTube, it's not even just about like filming. It, a lot of it comes down to video editing because you've got to create a story and that's the end result. Like you've got to put it through video editing. So yeah, video editing is like a massive, massive, massive part of it Yeah. as well. And um, I, think, I think what you're doing is really cool because like your travel vlog um, kind of directly influences your other business, like your freelancing business because you're showcasing like your development skills in your own videos. Like I said to you the other day, like no time is wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not like PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're saying it's gonna be PowerPoint the other day. But, yeah, like, because because basically like, um, I'm in a stage where like, I'm, you know, freelancing in like different things, well, in video editing, and then there was a point where I thought, oh, I could hit a roadblock, and I thought, oh, maybe I should change my niche to PowerPoint. And like, what Brett's saying is that like, yeah, the video editing really, complements my own like personal business on YouTube so yeah because yeah. the thing with YouTube is like um, you don't make a lot of money doing YouTube right no, no. but the good thing about YouTube is it's like an unbelievable source of free traffic oh, really? like if you're comparing it to um, like it, it kind of reminds me YouTube reminds me of like what Google was like 10 years ago like yeah. the traffic you get is insane and it's free yeah so even without YouTube paying you you should your YouTube channel that you're doing, you should use it to kind of complement something else. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So like, obviously if you're doing video editing as a freelancer, you can then showcase your work essentially. Yeah. And it's not like wasted time. I mean, on my description, I've put my Upwork link, like. Yeah, perfect. That, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't sure whether to like, yeah, like differentiate the two and think like, oh, like, or being a bit embarrassed about self-promoting, but I don't know. No, I don't think so. I okay. think, if you, like, anybody that's doing a YouTube channel, like, and this is, like, something that I wanted to get into in this video is, um, because the people, some people message me and they say, I'm coming to Chiang Mai, I'm going to do YouTube. And I'm like, right. <laughs> and you don't have a job. And they're like, no, I'm going to do YouTube. And it's like, dude, you're not going to make any money, man. Yeah. Like, YouTube yeah. doesn't make you money. Yeah. Like, a tiny bit of money. Like, even if, I know people that have got, like, ten, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And they literally make like one or two grand a month. Like, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make you like YouTube ad revenue is like yeah. minuscule. So if you're going to put in all that effort and all that time, it's good that it complements something else. You know. 
like for me like I love doing YouTube I love filming I love like editing I love creating a story and stuff and like I can just easily just spend 10 hours or even more just editing a video like you know it can be obsessive and like it's hard for me to balance between like YouTube and art work because like you said YouTube doesn't make money yeah. it comes to the point where I'm like after three days of editing and not talking to a client or applying for jobs or having I'm, like, any money, like... I'm like shit I need some money now yeah. <laughs> like, just like apply for jobs and like, actually work for my client yeah so um it is hard to balance between like what you like doing your passion and then also something that makes money because YouTube yeah no money in the beginning yeah but per the ideal scenario is where if your passion complements your business yeah. right yeah and that's exactly what um, you should be using it for and I mean even if you was um, uh, doing any business I think YouTube is just like people people do YouTube for fun which is fine yeah but like if you like for example if you're one of these people that's coming to Chiang Mai and you want to do it for like a job like it needs to um, you need to be um, using YouTube as like a traffic source for your business mm. it's not YouTube shouldn't be like the thing mm. just like you would blog you know and drive traffic to a site that you could then make affiliate commissions on or something like that you should use YouTube for like the same reason yeah you know so um, I mean what advice would you give to people that are looking to come to do vlogs and stuff like that would you advise anything beyond what I've just said with regards to like you for number one you're not gonna make any money like yeah, doing it. yeah, like, yeah. Um, well like uh, I mean like you can't really just come here. I mean, I had expectations before I came to Chiang Mai and like I thought, oh yeah, you can just come here and just, you know, like sort things out and make a living by like learning from people and find a mentor or whatever. But actually, um, it's not like that here. You kind of need to have like at least some saving or at least some kind of way to make money. So if you're coming here and, you, and you're only going to do YouTube and like you don't have any kind of like income, then I would like suggest you do like a side job like teaching English because that's, that's yeah, quite yeah. easy to get into or something like that. Although be careful about like the working visa situation. Yeah, like yeah. But like with um with YouTube, like just like take it easy, just do what you like doing. So like don't like get too fixated on like making like an income from it from the start. Do it because you're you're like experimenting, you know, just make a few vlogs, I don't know, make some like things you f like film something that you find interesting. Um, it's like a process so it's not like overnight you're gonna get success it's more like you do it because you find it interesting or in the case of what Brett said if you have a business already like if you're a copywriter and you're starting out you can just film stuff like giving like for example five tips on like like I don't know on writing XYZ and then like that yeah. can help promote your business so yeah exactly it depends what you want is it like a creative outlet or is it to complement your business or or you just do it for fun like yeah yeah but it's definitely not um I definitely don't think YouTube is like a can it can yeah. be a career in itself for some people like if you're like Casey Neistat or something but it's like <laughs> yeah. very far and few between you know yeah but it's not it's not a bad thing because like I said it can drive so much traffic yeah. to your business it's unreal and that's why you should be using it I think like but even someone like Casey Neistat he's what like a filmmaker he like built like his whole career like I don't know 30 years ago and then YouTube's just like a, it's like a hobby and then it made him money because he's so good at it but right. like for someone that's just starting YouTube well, depending on your background like if you're already a filmmaker maybe it's different because um, maybe you can freelance in like making films for people or whatever but and complement your business but otherwise yeah and what are your goals for your channel and you have a blog right as well uh, yeah I don't really update my blog though because um, I'm mainly focused on video um, my goals for my channel like uh, I, I don't really like know as such in detail but I do kind of want to in a way encourage people to also kind of um, let's say like break the rat race or whatever how you want to call okay. it or like well I had an idea it's not concrete but like to inspire people to like kind of harness that, their like inner rebel spirit right. <laughs> and like maybe like focus on like Asian females I don't know and like oh like this whole theme of overcoming like parental pressure society pressure and stuff and maybe eventually have like a talent agency where I connect like budding like creators and also like okay. Um, brands and stuff but at the moment like if my channel grows um, and gains exposure then I can just like feature creators and like they can like grow as well like, okay, cool. something like with a bigger purpose and like involving the community but right now like all I'm doing what well, all I can do is just show my journey because I, I, I don't really yeah. have much that much advice to give so I'm in the beginning stage as well yeah yeah but that's the cool thing about the YouTube as well because like because you're doing kind of like a lifestyle vlog thing yeah like it can just change with however you change right? yeah, yeah so yeah. like right now it can help you to make money in your video editing. yeah you know and then it can help you to make 
money in your other creative endeavors yeah. where you take it so yeah. that's what's really cool about it you know yeah. and, and really it's just like it's just a window especially if you're doing videos and it's you just on the videos it's just a it, people just love seeing other people and like the transparency of it all you know like even if even if you're like a um, like a web designer but you don't make videos about web design for example um, just your clients being able to see that you put yourself out there and stuff they really just feel like more connected with you so it just complements like everything you do I find the thing is though sometimes like I feel like if I'm just filming about myself it's just like really like I don't know like vain like that's that's right. <laughs> like you know as in like it's just like vlogs like because I'm trying to think of how I can add value so like part of me thinks that like oh like I don't know I should I can't but I should like you know provide like informational like like you have videos that are like informational but like at the same time it's like I only know so much and like I'm learning a lot, a lot of the time so my videos are also about me just learning and doing new things so but yeah I don't know it's like yeah well there's the problem is there's so many different um, ideas and I have the same thing with this channel like um, I mean sometimes I want to create this type of content and my channel is like a bit of a mix as yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. and some people will like some some people will like others but I think you just gotta let it evolve to do like whatever you want to do yeah like ultimately literally that's like a really good point because with content like you're thinking oh what will people like you know like oh should I just tailor like you know my videos to like the style that other people like think is popular and like good but then at the end of the day it's about you like for you to continue making videos you've got to make videos you like doing so yeah otherwise you can't do it yeah and you get this I get this all the time right like whenever I create a video I'm like this is everyone's gonna love this video everyone like fucking hate it <laughs> and then when I do like the shittest video ever like I just sit down and talk to the camera for like two minutes and just put it up and I really think oh that's terrible everyone really likes it I don't yeah. know do you get that like you can't really predict what people are going to like or not I've noticed people like it when like I like fail like on one of my videos <laughs> when I was kayaking almost drowned that got so many likes compared to like the, the view ratio to the like the view to the like ratio was so high compared to some other ones um, <laughs> just drown yourself in every video. Yeah, or like, uh, yeah, almost die. And another one, like, like a, you can turn into like a jackass <laughs> style thing, you know, it's like jumping in like a thorn bush and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I didn't do it on purpose though. <laughs> um, but um, with, like you said, um, oh, there's one video I did about my expectations in Chiang Mai, and that literally was just I did it in the morning, and like it took me like less, way less time than my other videos, and to edit it was like not as much. Um, cause like, cause I said I could spend 10 hours on one video, this one wasn't as much. But yeah, just because it was like you talking to the camera and yeah, like an honest kind of like dialogue, actually yeah, people liked it. And I was partly scared that some people were going to disagree with, you know, I mean like some people like thumbs down it and I think some people unsubscribed and like there's some kind of like, I mean you're always going to get disagreements, but yeah. 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 But ultimately, um, sometimes those are the best videos to make, like you play the provocateur, you know? Yeah. Kind of like well. make a video where like I've got a couple of videos on my channel where I just like argue the other side, but it's not necessarily my opinion, you know, and then you, everybody gets rolled up on it and stuff, but it gets oh. loads and loads of views. Like, like which one? Um, there's a couple on there, like really popular ones. Yeah. But um, that's a good, that's a good uh, strategy sometimes. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Well, like. I mean, what I'm getting at is you just don't always just make videos of, like, I think. That yeah. people just you think that people just want to see. Just yeah, it can yeah. be controversial. It can do yeah. just do whatever. Like yeah, you know. Uh, but like I'm kind of like it depends how controversial though. Well, like whatever. I don't know. Yeah. There's some people that just make a make a um, full on living just being controversial on YouTube. Like there's yeah. A, um, yeah. I won't mention names, but there's a couple of people in Chiang Mai that just literally all they do is name drop other people, and their channels are massive. And like, you look on their videos, and it's like 90% is thumbs down, like they're hated, but they've got so many views. And oh. So if you're just going after views, obviously, then you, yeah. you can do that. But yeah, but like, if you want to, yeah, if you want to create community, then yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think that's a good way to go, personally. Well, with like creating controversial videos, well, like, I don't know. I'm kind of like. With YouTube as well, like if you're starting to YouTube, you have to be wary that there's like people out there that are gonna hate your stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the thing as well. Like you get lots of negativity, right? Yeah, yeah. I always find like people, like I would literally say like 50% of my comments are like negative. Really? Yeah, but I, I, I just think like anybody that's got, um, like you could have like a video of like a hundred thumbs up and like three thumbs down, right? But then 50% yeah. of the comments are negative, and it's just like. The only people that comment are people that are, are that type of person, because p- people that are positive just don't comment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. That can be true. Um, but I just like mute them, you know. 
you know you can do that? You can mute them off your channel. You can block the person? Yeah. I, I've done that before because there was one guy who was just being really like, he was just like sexually harassing me. So I was just right. like, yeah. Um, yeah, you can just mute them. And um, what, the, what it does is like, <laughs> this is funny. They, they, they can't see that they're hidden on your channel. Oh, that's so they'll good. continue to comment forever. Oh. And that's, I just, I just let, let them do it, yeah, you know? Because like, if you've got like a hater and um, they'll just keep commenting all your videos, but nobody ever sees it except yeah. for them. But they think, they don't know that no one else is seeing their yeah. thing, you know? So that's oh. quite funny. Yeah. But then there's like, for me I don't get so many hate comments, but then there's comments where like, people are kind of like, snide. So like, when I came to Chiang Mai, someone wrote, oh, I thought you'd chicken out, like, I didn't expect you to come here. But then, you know, like, I don't know, like, it's not really yeah. like, pleasant comment. But then, yeah. but then you just like, you don't take it personally, because that's just like, they just project what they think onto you, and it's like, oh yeah, and then you just, you just reply as normal, you just, basically you don't get affected by it, because, well, you get used to it over time if you're just starting out. Yeah, and these people just like, never do anything anyway, right? Yeah. Well, they're, just, they're just consumers, they don't create anything. They yeah. just consume and hate, and like, that's why they hate on you because they're just they're not doing anything with their lives like it's a really good point be a creator not a consumer like that's, yeah. that's I think a quote I read like somewhere but yeah, yeah people creating don't have time to like you know yeah. like write these things yeah. and, and like you expect other creators because like well at least that like you know they're doing something and like yeah I know. mean I like that people watch this channel but I don't watch YouTube personally like yeah, I don't yeah. watch I don't watch anything yeah, yeah yeah you know I mean I think the only thing I watch on YouTube is like Joe Rogan podcast and yeah that's about it yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I actually don't watch YouTube, but I probably should. Well, I probably should because then it's a community. Like you should like comment and like. Yeah, yeah. Get oh, there's one other stuff. one other vlogger that I watch. Another Thai vlogger. Yeah. Oh, who's that? Um, guy called Rob, in uh, Phuket. No. I like his channel. I like Rob, so shout out to Rob if you're watching. I'll, I'll link you. <laughs> I'll check it out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, how long are you planning to stay in Chiang Mai for? Um, well, my visa runs out next month, so definitely until next month, and then I think I'm going to do a visa run, and then because I want to stay for the, the Lantern Festival. Okay. Yeah. In November, so probably in t like two more months, and then December go somewhere else. Okay. Where's the where are you planning on the next stop? The thing is, I don't know, and um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll like see how things go, but right. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Cool. And um, by the way, guys, uh, if you do need somebody to edit your videos, like <laughs> Jess is like. Her channel compared to this one is like <laughs> editing wise. Like you spend like ten hours on a video, I spend like twenty minutes. Like, How do you spend twenty minutes on a video? I just video? don't care. I just like cut, cut, <laughs> send it out. You know, just oh not God. really bothered. But um, yeah, really good video editor. So don't forget check out her channel. What I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below. And um, is there anything else you want to mention or? And one other thing I'd say, like one like really important point is if you're coming over here, make sure you have money for like, I know one to two months to figure stuff out. Like it doesn't have to be loads of money. Like you can get an apartment here for like a hundred quid um, or I don't know how many dollars that is. Um, or like you can- hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah. And like living expenses are really cheap. Maybe like another, maybe two hundred dollars. But make sure you have some money so that you can figure stuff out because it does take a bit of time to get into the freelancing and building profile and and setting up your videos. Yeah, so. it's a process, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's no like, um, like one size fits all, and it's just like you can't really plan it. You know what you think is going to happen doesn't happen, and yeah, yeah, it just takes always takes longer than you think it's going to take, and things yeah. like that. But but to accelerate like your work process, you can watch some of like Brett's vids. <laughs> yeah, I watch my videos. Yeah, and I've got a course that will, will come out one day, which has been like I've been working on like forever. Um, yeah, so. We'll wrap it up there guys and um, anyway if you want to check out Jesse's uh, channel and a uh, blog and I'll put a link in the description and um, until next time this is Brett from brettdev.com and we're out. Peace.